Hi guys, it is December 8, 2017, rare snow possible in Deep South. I came across this just a little bit ago. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, <laughs> rare snow possible. Yeah, this was posted, ABC News, yesterday, 6.30 a.m. Well, they did have snow. And you had a winter wallop in Texas, southeast Texas. Uh, snow also in Louisiana, as you will see in just a few minutes. But southeast Texas, you got a winter wallop. You guys don't know what a winter wallop is, but it's a winter wallop for you because it's rare. Yeah, climate change and global warming, you get a winter wallop. Okay. Oh, man, isn't it unbelievable the time that we are living? It is so surreal. It is so Kafka-esque. We look at our fellow Americans. We try to explain that man, oh, is controlling the weather, creating the weather and Mother Nature. They killed off. I got lots of evidence for you. I don't want to see it. I'll roll my eyes and I'm going to call you names. I'm going to call you crazy. We're crazy. Hell, we have companies that provide weather modification services to virtually every state in the country and to other countries. We have mountains of evidence, but we're crazy. All right, so sunshine, I guess, has returned, hopefully. I hope so. It is 11.50 a.m. on the East Coast, so it's uh, two hours behind. The snow will melt for you guys in southeast Texas. Your pipes will be okay, don't worry. But aren't you fortunate that you have ABC 13 telling you what you will want to make sure of? You will want to make sure people, pets, and plants stay warm. Phew! Thank God they told you, because I'm sure you would not have known that all on your own, you know? But you will be getting another freeze tonight. There will be no precipitation with that freeze, and it's going to be rather cold for the next 10 days. This is what I found last night. Now, both of these articles I only just came across. So when I was going through my uh, bookmarked radar satellite sites, I was actually Wondering if there was anything unusual going on around Southern California with their fires. But I came across this. And Houston, are you now getting snow? Are you getting snow? I guess I'll find out tomorrow when I talk to my friend in Houston. Oh, no, you're getting rain. No, no, you might be getting some snow. Okay. Um, is this usual? Is it usual? Is it normal? Oh, wow. Look at all of that. Now, frequencies are sure going through this snow in Texas. In Texas. Ripping apart the snow. Ultra-low frequencies. All right, let me... Uh, I can't stand the clicking, and I can't stand this hand flickering all over. God, I'm sorry about that. But do you see the ultra-low frequencies, the signatures? First of all, do you see all of the ripples in the precipitation right there off the coast? But all of these very defined lines that you see jutting out, from a particular lo location, those are ultra-low frequencies. These ripples right off the coast of Texas, Brownsville, uh, these are all signatures of technology being used to modify, to manipulate, to control this bizarre-looking uh, storm going through from uh, Texas right off the East Coast. But all of the very defined lines 
clear evidence of frequencies at use here. This is being controlled, uh, created by man. This is not how Mother Nature works. You see it? You see these frequencies literally ripping apart the precipitation. New Orleans. <laughs> Look how quickly the snow, boom, erupts in Louisiana. Look at that squared off section right down at Baton Rouge. Oh, man. What a trip it is to live this. Surrounded by so many people who just Ah, are they scared? Look at all of the frequencies going through. The green uh, precipitation here, Texas. Couldn't be more in our face. They're hiding nothing now. Hiding nothing. And I'm quite sure that they feel they don't have to anymore because the American people, on the whole, are gone. Look at all of the ultra-low frequencies right off of the North Carolina coast here, Oak Island. Then we have those frequencies coming into South Carolina, but we also have ultra-low frequencies being set off Columbia, the frequencies in this cloud, artificial cloud substance that we've had here in Anderson, which is northwest of Columbia, um, so obvious, right in our face. They just call it climate change, and that's enough for the American people to just go, okay, thank you. I know that I'm contributing. I must stop exhaling. I'll shoot my cows so they don't fart. I'll recycle. I'll get rid of my car. I'll walk or bike. I'm living in too big of a home? Okay. I'll get rid of it. You don't have to destroy it. I'll just move into a stack and pack. Yeah, this is truly what we are living today. I can't believe it. Um, but I want to show you these satellite pictures of, uh, it couldn't be more, couldn't be more unbelievably in our face. All of the uh, geoengineering, the chemtrails. Now we're off the, we're into the Pacific. I mean, look at this. Could it be more in our face? That this is artificial, that this is not Mother Nature. All of these, <laughs> yeah. They're hiding nothing. And this is what it looks like now pretty much every single day. The uh, spraying of massive chemicals, heavy metals, into the atmosphere, right smack in our face. But look at how only like one little strand of chemtrail makes it into California, Northern California. Something is blocking. There's a block right off the coast of Southern California keeping all of the artificial cloud substance from coming on land. True as well for Northern California. Yeah.
it's unfortunate that we have to live this. It's really, it, it, it kind of, I don't know. It, it kind of feels like have the majority just made a complete and utter joke of life itself, rendering it meaningless when so many just accept lies. And I'm sorry, I do think the majority of Americans, those who choose willful ignorance, they know they're being lied to. They know it. They just accept it. And they go on. And then more and more of life just turns unreal. I mean, do they not care that they render life meaningless? Don't you think it should mean something? And the only possible way to get to life actually meaning something is the truth. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Yes, manufactured snow in the southeast in Louisiana. Uh, let me know, you guys who live in that area. Did it feel a little surreal? Do you think your weather is natural? And how are you guys feeling? Because in order to generate weather, well, they've got to dump a lot of chemicals and heavy metals, and they've got to use a lot of frequencies, and unfortunately, life, two leggeds, four leggeds, all life experiences the adverse effects. So drop a comment below. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the South. The South. I mean, all over here. <laughs> Wherever this band of precipitation reaches.